It is now safe to keep playing. Billy didn't smell like poo today, that's a new one. Alright. Alright, back to business. Back. Any luck? I managed to give out some flyers, but most people were distracted by the dog. I had to tell them to go to the Rad Sheba bar to get their attention. Oh. Anyway, I'm back to my office. You, stay here. Fine. Excuse me. The door opens, and the crowd goes wild when they see... Ah, dog. Oh, wait, she's not freaking out because it's cute. She's freaking out because I think she's scared of it. Sup, little girl? What are you doing in a bar? Uh, honey, some help here? Hey, dog, I heard cats in the alley. Really? I'll check them out. Wow, you really are bad with dogs, huh? Did I make it too obvious? I guess Channel 2 just changed to that thing, huh? Why, though? I don't know. Oh, hey, John. Hey. Just doesn't even fight it anymore. I think it's because I got that trait at random. When AIs are created, they're given fears or taste completely at random. I just happened to get stuck with a fear of dogs and chinchillas. And chinchillas? Ouch. Chinchillas are extinct, though. Oh no! Chinchillas are extinct in the future. Thank gods. Harsh. What will you have? Well, it's that time of month, so I'll have a bleeding Jane. No. What? Uh, coming right uh, uh, up. <clears throat> uh, wait, but she's, <clears throat> but she's an android. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Whatever. <coughs> Excuse me. Ta-da. Here. That time of month. Do Lilla menstruate? Oh god. Yes, oil. What? That doesn't even make- no, we don't. Okay. I was gonna say, but that doesn't make sense. You're a robot. <laughs> there are a few maintenance things we have to do every month, but those are a different story. Now what time of month is it? The time when I feel like drinking a bleeding Jane? Oh. Alright. So, how's business? <clears throat> You should see. You should be surprised by how many people get struck by holiday depression and need do some Dorothy in their lives. Oh God. Although it's also the season with the most competition. I didn't know you had competition. Of course I do. Both humans and Lilims, and half of them get the attractive Santa dress, and that's just not fair. Oh, go figure. They were sold out. I wanted one too. But maybe it's better that way. How so? The other girls like to dress in skimpy clothes and show lots of skin that scares off a lot of people. I learned that the best way to maintain regulars is to just dress normally. Well, at least then they wouldn't be suspicious. Or I guess the people around wouldn't be suspicious. Really? If I dress normally, they can just pretend I'm some acquaintance. Yeah, see? <clears throat> no need to hide me until reaching the room. Hey, some might even invite me to dinner, or a movie, before anything else. Although I must say, it's a bit hard to get clients in the first place. They can't tell what I do at a glance. <coughs> and the first time they see me after a call, they just think I'm making a prank or something. Huh, never saw it that way. Which reminds me, do you serve only humans, or do you serve Lilum too? Humans only, but I do have an at least 40% organic policy. 40%. Human from the neck up. But I can make exceptions. For females, I'm not so strict, though. Hmm. Why, do you know someone that might be interested? No, just mere curiosity. Well, your curiosity left me get thirsty getting a blue fairy, would you? Alright.
<clears throat> a big blue fairy for the small pink haired pixie. Oh, that's funny. <clears throat> Might as well throw some camera trying in there. Although, maybe I shouldn't. It's a little late now that I've already put it all in, but she, if I recall, Dorothy just kind of rage quit the conversation last time I loaded up her drink with alcohol. Here. <clears throat> oh, she asked for a big one. Whoops. Honey, you know how they say the size doesn't matter? It doesn't, but in this case it does. You know, earlier today, there was a mega Christmas spirit around here. Whoops. Ouch. Maybe Jill's not gonna get her electric bill paid. I am so sorry, Jill. What about it? And I'm realizing I made a fuss about serving a drink to someone underage, but here I am. Nothing in particular, just a funny story. I have a funny story myself. It's a me it's the mega Santa prank. The what? <clears throat> It's a prank I pull every year. First, I pick a mall, wait for a day with lots of people. Then I go to Santa's lap. Oh, God. And when he asks what I want, <clears throat> I say in the most innocent tone I can muster, I want you to make me a woman. <sighs> Sometimes they try to cover it up. The little wants to be human. It's them I say, no, I want you. Oh boy. <clears throat> uh, this is just getting weirder. I want. Oh, well, why? That would ruin a dude's life. But I remembered it was a prank. I didn't want to ruin the guy's life. Yeah, see? How considerate. Although I did get a client that way. He became a regular soon after. God, that's weird. Huh. But yeah, three years and they still don't get that it's always me. Oh yeah? How old are you? Old enough for anything you want? <sighs> numbers. I need numbers. Are you really asking a girl her age that way? Okay, tell me your age first. 27. 27. See? I remembered. <clears throat> no fair, you didn't get fidgety or anything like that. Fine, I'll tell you. My model's designed to look between 10 to 13 years old, but my last checkup said my mental age was 24. How long since you've been deployed? That's a secret I'll keep with me, sing song. Fair enough. I expected you to get all uncomfortable talking about your age, though. Why didn't you? Because it doesn't really matter. Excuse me. With how dangerous it's been lately, every year you get matters. Getting old isn't a curse, it's an achievement. You should make a shirt with that, because if you don't, I will. Feel free to do so. Do you want anything else? Let's see. Ooh, a cobalt velvet. It's been a while since I've tried one of those. Alright. Here, I'm gonna... <clears throat> I'm gonna double up these ones, just because now I feel bad for screwing up before. There we go. Cobalt Velvet. Yep, this is the one. Do you like it? I don't dislike it. I guess I'm not mature enough for these drinks. Whoa. What the? Um, no. Hey, Mega, uh... That Mega Santa became a regular and invited like eight of his friends. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that is always the concept. That is always a 
bit of the concept that I've never understood. Yeah. True story. <laughs> Even the regular left? I don't regret asking this, but were all the other guys. <clears throat> they were mega Santas that worked with him. That is... Ridiculous. Of course they were. I've been in many, but... Uh. Oh. Oh boy. Either way, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> no kidding, Gillian. Now I can see it. Can't see Mega Santas with the same eyes. Why didn't you tell her you missed her yesterday? So I shouldn't have doubled that drink. That made her go crazy. <laughs> Forgot about it. <clears throat> I didn't find any cats. Why not look again? <coughs> Excuse me. Her outfit looks cool. <clears throat> She's got like a scarf thing going on. With this cool double button jacket. <clears throat> huh? Another kid. Maybe the bar got popular at some middle school. That would be a hassle. Oh gods, maybe Alma was right. <laughs> right about what? Well, the other day I was asking your opinion on the whole Alice Rabbit thing. Before the whole massive transmission, transmission hack thing. <clears throat> At some point, she talked about hacking being some fad and said, Imagine if suddenly a group of tweens broke into this bar and started asking for drinks. And now it's coming true. And today there have been two kids already. Eh? How would bartending become a fad? Maybe on a cartoon? They censor stuff. Kids' cartoons don't show any alcohol. See? <coughs> it's always like grape juice or something. True. She just keeps speaking in a Is she mute? Um. Excuse me, miss. This is no place for kids, so you should. Gil, she's staring too much and she's saying nothing. She's not ordering anything, she's not causing any trouble, and there's nothing inappropriate here. So, we're just gonna leave this lady stare at me, or stare at Jill, for. No reason. I mean, nothing inappropriate aside from alcohol, but alcohol is everywhere anyways. So what do you suggest? Let her be? Maybe she's just curious about the bar. She's saying nothing. Maybe she's curious and shy. <laughs> also, it's rude to speak about people you have in front of you like they can't hear you. Well, we've tried addressing her already, and she didn't say anything. Yeah. This is awkward. Jill. Bruh. How did I startle you? What do you want? <clears throat> Can you help me out here with a beer? Right. Ta-da. Here. Thanks. And lower your guard a bit, please. Oh yeah, before I forget. <clears throat> the disposal unit comes set Sunday. Did you have any expired ingredients on your side? <clears throat> oh, right, yeah. That's a bottle of Karma Trine. It's like a month past expiration. Put it by the sink so I remember to dispose of it. Thanks. Hey, miss. Hmm. Yes? Are you happy? Am I happy? Well, that's a weird question. I'm not sad, I guess. I'm not jubilant, but... <clears throat> no, I mean, are you happy with your life? With your choices? Deep question. 
I mean, I have one or two regrets, but I guess it could be worse. Regrets? Yeah, I mean, don't we all? I see. Um. Hey, Jill. Bruh. Again? Aren't you a bit on edge? Maybe. What did you want? Didn't you borrow that screwdriver the other day? <clears throat> I did? Why? I forgot to take the coins from the arcades in the corner last week, so I needed to take them out. Oh, let's see. Here. It's not like they see much action these days anyway. That's a bummer. Chump change is still money. Pocket change has saved me many times. What, did you throw it in someone's face while escaping? Pocket change! <laughs> that only happened once and the old lady started it. <laughs> I like how his... He always has the most hilarious defenses ready. Right. Why does an arcade still use coins nowadays? Or physical money, when you get down to it. For the same reason arcades still exist? Nostalgia? Maybe. Hey, miss. Eh? Yeah. Do you recognize me? Alright. So I think they said that she was trying to place her earlier. But I don't... We've never seen her before in the bar, so that means I th the only other person it could be is someone from the picture that we showed Dana. <clears throat> Unless... Yeah, she's not on TV. Recognize you? I want to say I do, but sorry. Really? You can't remember your own sister's face? What? Isn't Jill... Jill said she was an only child. Sister? Sorry, but I don't have any sis... Sister? Uh, not even a sister-in-law? <clears throat> oh, wow. I was right. No way. Gabby, is that really you? God, I'm so sorry. You've just grown up so much since the last time I saw you. How long has it been? Three years. Alright. So you do know her. Yeah, she's actually my my ex's sister. Um, so how have you been doing? I actually had to transfer schools and I managed to skip a grade thanks to the admission tests. I'll be out of middle school next year. <clears throat> nice. You've always been a smart one, so it's no surprise. Have you thought about what you want to study in college? You always said you wanted to be a scientist. I don't know yet. I guess I still have a couple years to think about it. Well, don't feel pressured about it. Maybe you'll just need a sabbatical. Maybe you'll need a sabbatical year. So, how's Lenore? Wait, who's Lenore? Her sister. She's, um, she was my girlfriend. So you actually had a relationship with something, with something that's not a cat. <laughs> Color me surprised, Gil. <clears throat> Hey, don't talk about my baby that way. That's hilarious. <clears throat> so, how's Lenore doing? <clears throat> oh, oh, oh no. She's dead? Oh. Quote the Raven, nevermore, jeez. Sorry, I don't think I heard right. Oh. Oh, no. My sister is dead, Jill. She died last Saturday. I came all the way to tell you the news. <clears throat> Come on, she looks like she's gonna start crying, Jill. She's not fooling around. No, you stop fooling around. I mean, wow. Oh, jeez. My sister was left to suffer her disease alone while you were all merry here, drinking, mixing drinks and chatting. Hey, we were mixing drinks and changing lives. Wait, Lenore was sick? Of what? Since when? Localized nanomachine reduction? It gave her a heart attack? Oh my god, just like Ames in Metal Gear Solid 2. Mild spoilers if you haven't played Metal Gear Solid 2. She started complaining about chest pains not long after you left. Oh. Uh. 
Was all the talk about getting your freedom worth it, Jill? Oh, she is not happy. <clears throat> what? If you started... <laughs> Calm down. Was your right to be Mary worth the life of my sister? Why are you lashing out at me like that? Did I infect her with the disease that killed her? No, but it's too much of a coincidence that she started getting worse and worse right after you left. She got visibly sick after your fight. It'd be no surprise if that fight played a key role in killing her. But that's just speculation. You can't expect. And all because you wanted freedom? <clears throat> what kind of freedom is so enticing that it makes you hurt a nice three-year-old relationship? Wow. Was this freedom so important that you cut all contact with us? Was this freedom so good that you left everything behind? Was this freedom worth the life of my... Shut up! Phew. I didn't kill your sister. It's not like I infected her with the nanomachine rejection. You tell her. <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever heard she was sick. <laughs> yeah, and don't take... Well, you can't really be too harsh about the person who's grieving the loved one can't think rationally, but this will snap them back to reality, hopefully. <clears throat> and do you really know what kind of fear drove me to have that argument with your sister? Do you even understand the fear of feeling your youth slip through your fingers? Do you think it was all easy for me? I was scared. I am still scared, but I needed to grab a hold of my life. Oh, man. <clears throat> but it has nothing to do with your sister. I loved her. Do you think that fight didn't hurt me, too? I 